topped 100 million globally. Well, if you play the lottery, you're going to be a little bummed out about this next story because <laughs> Los Angeles has won an has another billion dollar Powerball winner following last night's drawing. Now, this marks the third such win in the past year. The winning numbers were 22, 24, 40, 52 and 64 with the Powerball of 10. The jackpot is the second largest in lottery history, just behind the 2.04 billion won by a Los Angeles man last November. And according to lottery officials, this drawing also marks the first time in Powerball history that three back to back jackpots have reached the billion dollar mark. We need to change that, Texas. <laughs> wow, both in Los Angeles? Yep. Right? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Sus. That is, <laughs> that is crazy <laughs> that <laughs> both of the last two major ones were yeah. in Los Angeles. They didn't say where the third was. I don't know oh, off no, the top of my so head. So very curious. Harland in Texas. Interesting. Just kidding. I know, right? <laughs> I wish. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But still, that's suspicious. Mm -hmm. It is. Right? It's crazy. Congrats but to the winner. If you Again, need, when we say congrats, it doesn't sound so genuine, if right? If no. you need an idea for your money, we're all available. Uh, call us anytime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're here. Our number's on our website, <laughs> valleycentral.com. That's a great yeah. oh Also, I'm going to have to borrow one of y'all's Netflix to watch the uh, Black Barbie okay. documentary. Looks very interesting. I'm not usually into a lot of the stuff that Netflix has to offer, but the documentary Definitely down for that. I one. think it's going to oh be cool. God. And I think I always say we should just put our movies that we want to watch back here. That is so oh, true. Yeah. We already have a good setup yeah. here. Yep. Oh, gosh. We I don't know, do guys. It. I kind of want to watch the Taylor Swift movie. You do? I know Jessica doesn't agree, but I do. <laughs> I'd rather see it than the Barbie documentary. Okay. Is that bad? I don't yes, know. It's bad. You can watch so both. Bad. You'll watch both because we're on opposite sides of this debate. You know yeah. why Danielle, <laughs> you know Danielle doesn't want to watch the Barbie documentary? It's because she fell asleep during the Barbie <laughs> movie, and so she's probably going to fall asleep again yeah. during the Barbie documentary. Yeah. No, so you I know don't, why Jessica doesn't want to watch the movie? Because she doesn't really, she's a secret Taylor Swift fan. What? <laughs> yeah, she's opposite. Like a secret, <laughs> opposite. Major fan of Taylor Swift. Anyway, Adam, yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you would fall asleep during the documentary. It sounds no. pretty cool. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. To, to say the least for the Taylor Swift movie, I think it's a great opportunity for people who didn't get the chance to sure. go to the concert. Yeah. This is so much cheaper. Yeah. And I know it's not going to be the exact same experience as a concert, but hopefully anyone who didn't get to go to one of her concerts, because as far as I'm aware, she didn't come all the way down to the valley. <laughs> um, so now hopefully all those people who didn't get that opportunity yeah. can see the movie. So I am happy that, that those people can enjoy it yeah. that way. There you go. Listen to that. Aww. Peace and love. All with Taylor. <laughs> An agreement. <laughs> we all agree. Yeah. <laughs> sounds great. You know what else sounds great? Yes. A cold front. It's coming. Okay. But we have to get through today and tomorrow. Okay. So <laughs> right now it's it's uh, temperatures in the low 70s, a little bit of fog, not okay. a lot of rain. That's Got pretty it. much uh, <laughs> those are the big threes you had out there this morning. We're around that 70 degree mark for everybody. And ah, just like I said, there you go, you guys. 69 for Harlingen, 69 for some of us there in Stark County, 68 for San Isidro. So we are seeing those temperatures in the upper 60s, but a lot of us sticking to 70. This is the coolest point of the day. We got about 